Hey guys, it's your girl Cece and I am back. Rock me, baby. So I just thought, you know, I've been gone for a while, so let's just start off with something that I love. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my updated skincare routine because I, though she may look like she's doing well, when I tell you last month I was covered in pimples, like I probably had like three on my cheek and I have not had more than three pimples at once in a really long time. And I know you guys are probably like, Cece, that's not that big of a deal, but it was okay my chin was also a little bit troubling um so my skin's finally coming back down let's just see look that's a late period pimple right there <laughs> and then i have this this was like a really bad pimple that lasted for months it was like a cystic pimple i had to like pop it over and over and over again i know i tell you guys not to pop your pimples but listen don't listen to me sometimes okay i just Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the routine that I've been doing. Some of it's a little bit of the same with my old routine. A little bit is the other. We're starting off in the nighttime because I feel like if you're especially trying to get your skincare to be good in the day, it matters what you do at night. You know, I want to show you guys my full routine. But the nighttime really like preps your skin for the day, especially if you're going to wear your skin completely flawless, makeup free, or if you're just noticing like some things that you need to do with your skin to give it that oomph. Nighttime is when you want to start. You don't want to start the day of. So we're about to just wash my face. I'm going to stop talking. We're going to go voiceover and let's do this. All right. So first we're starting with just wiping off my face. I'm going to splash some water. And then I'm going to show you guys, this is the product I use when I wear makeup. I haven't been wearing makeup lately, but I like to oil cleanse before going in with my process. But we're going to skip and go straight to my Fenty cleanser. I love this stuff. I've been using it for like a year. It's super great for sensitive skin. But I would say I have like, I'm in between sensitive and normal. So my sensitivity isn't too bad. But my sister who has super sensitive skin, she likes the cleanser as well. But I do have another friend, her name Dara, and she hated it. So, well, actually, I think she liked the cleanser, but she didn't like Fenty. She said it irritated her. So, use with caution. They also have a fragrance-free line now, too. That might be better. So, I'm just wiping that off. I work it in for a minute. It's great with removing makeup. It smells amazing. And then we're going to go in with our Dermalogica. Now, this stuff, this is what's keeping the skin nice and clean. It has BHAs and AHAs. It is a micro exfoliant. I don't use scrubs. I use this only and it keeps my skin so smooth. It goes straight into them pores. Gets all that shit out. <laughs> um, it has um, salicylic acid and salicylic acid literally cleans your pores out and that's what helps fight the pimples. So I do that every single day now or at least as much as I can remember but that is a daily step. It is definitely sensitive skin. Like even when my skin is inflamed, I can use that stuff and my skin does not react. So I love that stuff. Next, I'm just splashing my face, getting all that stuff off. Then we're gonna dry it off. I like to dry off with a paper towel, just because that's clean. A hand towel can carry dirt, bacteria, all that. So we're gonna go on with my glycolic acid toner. It's crap, it's life. If you wanna glow, you need some type of exfoliator and this is one of my favorites it's only it's under ten dollars actually you get a big bottle for it you put it on your skin now this is something you do need to watch if you're having breakouts don't put it on open pimples if you have um if you get sensitive patches like i do avoid those patches but like if you have a pimple that you're trying to go away and it's not open that is going to help get rid of that pimple so next we're going in with my low recipe serum or is that serum it's a uh, what's it called it's a toner <laughs> but it has bha and ahas or not even aha pha was supposed to be more gentle than the aha so i can use them in combination with my glycolic acid and not irritate my skin but it's also supposed to be helping with producing a glow and then of course we have old faithful the niacinamide serum from the ordinary i live by this stuff I use it day and night still to this day. I love it. It keeps my skin from being covered in oil and it keeps my pimples at bay. So last but not the least is we're going to go in with one of my faves. It is the, oh, I lied. We just make it sure my lips ain't chapped. <laughs> 
And then we gonna go in with my fave. It is the Instant Reset Moisturizer, the Overnight Moisturizer from Fenty Skin. Literally, if you want the glass skin look at night, this is what you need. Cause it's gonna leave your face looking so shiny, so hydrated, and the moisture carries over to the morning. You still wake up looking all glowy and moisturized. And it is amazing. But yeah, that is what my skin's looking like after all of that. It's super hydrated, super clean, super glowy. Okay, so that's what I do for the nighttime. Um, sometimes I'll throw on a mask in between as I do my serum applications and stuff. And then I also, I just want to show you guys like how my skin looks before I put on my eye patches. Um, I've been using these Pixie Fortify. Um, what does it say? Toning eye patches. It's just supposed to hydrate this area. I bought these a while ago. I'm just trying to use them up, honestly. I bought them because Jackie Ina told me to buy them. How many people have done that before? So, <laughs> but this is um, how my skin looks for after my nighttime routine. As you see, very glass like, very glowy, um, super glowy. Honestly, this glow will last for like a few hours and then into the next morning. And then I'll be, when I do my new routine, and he'll be like, whoosh. So, yeah, um, this is how we're looking before we go to bed. And I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm not gonna put on my eye patches now because I want to take some thumbnail photos. But yeah, see y'all in the morning. This is what I look like with my eye patches on. I just thought I'd show y'all because I might use a thumbnail photo from it. So yeah, I'll just leave these on for like 10 minutes or until I feel like taking them off. And then yeah, I'll. All right, so it's the next morning. As you see, I'm still moisturized from last night, but that doesn't mean you don't wash your face. So we're going in with my washcloth, splashing with water. I use the same cleanser. I try not to switch too many things in and out just because I feel like that can cause extra sensitivity and it's wasteful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going in with my Fenty cleanser. Like I said, this stuff gets my skin really clean. It also doubles as a makeup remover. So that's why I love using this just for my skin because I know my skin is going to get nice and clean, but it's also still going to be hydrated after I finish using it. You don't get that stripped feeling. So after I use that, I'm going to rinse my face off and since it's a morning routine I try to keep it kind of short and sweet because my mornings I be tired so I'm just going to splash my face with water then we're going to pat her dry and then we're just going to go in with my toner again I used kind of the same products now I'm a little more simple um, I have the toner I like to use this it helps produce a nice glow it's safe enough for during the day usage just make sure you're pairing with the sunscreen which I'll show you at the end then I'm going to go in with my serum. Like I said, this the morning routine is going to be a lot shorter than the nighttime routine. Because one, you don't want to sweat off all the products if it's getting warmer with the summer coming. And two, nobody got time for all that. So I'm just going to pat everything into my skin. Go back in with my chapstick. Because after I brush my teeth, my lips be real dry. All like, chappy, chap, chip, chip. So after that, I'm going to go in with my Fenty moisturizer. Y'all know this is life for me. I love this stuff. It looks great. It works great. Gives me glowy skin. And that is the routine, y'all. It's super simple. Is it affordable? Eh. But it works. Alright. So, first of all, I know my wig's a little frizzy. It is wash day for both my hair and my wig, and I'm going to go buy pizza before I embark on the journey. And I do not appreciate judgment right now. <laughs> But anyways, that is my full routine. This like, I mean, and you might think I'm being exaggerative, you know, good lighting does a really good thing for you, but this is all me. Like, I'm impressed with myself. And when I tell you guys my skin did not look like this last month, like, it does not take a lot of time to get your skin together. It just takes proper dedication, patience, and care, honestly. Um, but if like, this is just thinking if you have normal skin problems, if you have an actual skin condition, then the dermatologist is gonna be the best person to point you in the right direction. So if you guys like this video, please leave a comment. I missed you guys. There's just been a lot of moving parts in these last few months. A lot of change um yeah so we'll might get into it might not I don't know if I feel like talking about everything just know I'm in therapy and I'm talking to somebody and that's what matters I'm healthy I am 
as happy as I can be right now, I'm working on finding my happiness again, but it's there, you know? But it's like when you go through low moments, you go through low moments. You can't just lie and say I'm happy. But I think my happiness is slowly coming back and I am doing things that make me happy and that means making a video for you guys. So like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. I promise I will be back with another video soon. I'm not going to promise when. I'm going to try to get back to my weekly flow, but just pray for me. That's all I can say. Pray for me and my consistency. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Rock me, baby.